Welcome back to the channel. So I am now 30% in cash in the portfolio. Let me explain how I've got there. I am trying to make money in every which way I can to build up my cash position. I am growing new um, SaaS businesses, which are producing income every month. I am. I still have some software consulting uh, invoices that I had to, some work I had to invoice for. I brought that cash in. I've been liquidating assets as in selling some of my startups. I actually sold one yesterday and I'll tell you a story about that. Um, so I was at 15% roughly cash position, coming closer to 20. I'm now at 30% cash position. And what I did is I sold this startup. The startup is DSocial. It's a decentralized version of YouTube. The reason I sold it is because of all my personal circumstances. I lost interest in working on it. And, you know, my personal circumstances shouldn't affect the success of that product. It was a real waste because all of the core technology was there. And every month it was just dying because I wasn't working on it. So that now is with a new owner. Um, sold that yesterday. Funds were transferred. But what's interesting is that the more that I have let go of making money, although still focused on trying to do it, the more I've let go, the more I've made. And it's so strange. I had a bunch of people wanting to buy this startup and... Obviously, a bunch of idiots who can't prove the funds and things like that with ridiculous offers. But the ones that actually want to go ahead, very serious, made the decision, transferred the funds within a day. It was all very easy. But the funny thing is, I woke up this morning to my inbox and I had an offer from someone, a very good person to sell to with a very good track record for more money than I sold the startup for yesterday with um, an equity kicker in their startup, which is probably going to turn into, uh, in the worst case, it's going to turn into maybe half a million. Uh, so it's quite funny. It's I, I sold something for cash for 75k, but potentially my total earn out of the deal that I got offered this morning was half a million or more. So, But such is life. This is the way it goes. And um, I honestly don't care. I just thought it was a funny story that you know, it's like buses, all the opportunities, they come at once. And for all the years that I struggled, it's so funny how there's all these different opportunities now. And I believe it's compound interest. Like what I talked about on the other video, I've, I've been focusing on building my own businesses, many different little ideas. Some of them are making $200 a month. Some of them are making $20,000 a month. Trial and error, trial and error, trial and error. And I think with enough compound interest of doing that, things start to work and you start to get more lucky, you know, which is just more shots on goal, frankly speaking. So I need to do more. I need to build more things. And that's what I'm trying to do whilst balancing life. I only really work in reality three hours a day, something like that on new ideas. And the rest of the time I spend with my family, train at the gym and enjoy my life. But um, slowly but surely I'm going to get there. But anyway, that's a little story for you. And that's why I'm currently 30% in cash. Now, I'm not recommending that you do this, um, but I'm saying, in my opinion, in the current market conditions, building cash is the best possible thing you can do. Find every which way to liquidate assets, generate income, generate cash flow, multiple jobs at the same time, whatever you need to do, because we are going off the edge and we are going into a deep recession, in my opinion. And the opportunities are going to be incredible. And you are going to kick yourself if you don't have some firepower sitting there for you to put to work when things get really bad. And... That's it. Um, so my conclusion, build cash. <laughs>